I may not need all the clothing that I have on currently. It feels warmer than I thought. Okay, there's the Polar Bear Challenge sticker that I earned this year. So I'm going to put this on my bike somehow. There we go. Polar Bear Challenge sticker. Grr, wolf, rawr. Oh, I like these Converse All-Stars. Oh, can you see that? They are not slippy on this at all. It's great. They're not your traditional Converse All-Stars. Those things would kill my feet. They're new ones. They're redesigned with Nike shit in them. Comfortable as all get out. Light, fluffy. The perfect thing for a middle aged fat man. Well, I'm not really fat, you know. Well, technically I'm obese. The BMI says I'm obese. Oh well. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Cayley7. Today is February 28th, 2016. It's a Sunday. I am on my way to the Aviator Smokehouse to pick up some lunch that I just called in. And I figured as I was riding to get my lunch, I would do a little moto vlog. Ugh, that's a cop right there. I seen those lights and I said, yeah, you're going to do that full feet down thing, ain't you? <laughs> I guess that guy who uh, criticized my video earlier, he's probably laughing right now. I stopped watching after the second stop sign you ran. Well, I didn't run it today, I just, well, I ran one. <laughs> I've already run a stop sign. All right, ready? I'm not going to run this one. Feet down, both ways, yay. So, um, I'd like to say thank you to my, uh, the person I was claiming to be a troll. It's not really a troll. He just had a bad moment. He apologized and I accepted and much appreciated. I think maybe uh, I came off as sounding like Massachusetts is full of a bunch of whining pussy liberals and that was not my intention I was just simply describing what I experienced when I lived there I'm not trying to cast any aspersions or make a judgment on it just saying this is what happened to me this is what I saw heard I just got hit in the face with a bug. As I was trying to not answer my phone. So, uh, yeah. I love Massachusetts. I mean, I'm, I'm from there. It's my home. That's where my compass always points. I'm from Lynn. Proud of it. I wouldn't live there now, though. It was too expensive, too crowded, too cold. But I, I have friends up there that still kind of shake their head at me, like, "Wow, you have a gun? I don't have one gun. I have a lot of guns." I think, "Oh my God, you're some kind of freako." Like, I'm not a freako. I'm not. I'm not a gun-toting NRA f nut. I just. I like guns, and I'm, I am part of the NRA. 
I guess I'm a gun nut. Oh well. I have a, uh, a card. This is totally off topic. I have a card. And it says, hey, you get a free wash at Ray Price Harley Davidson whenever you want. You just come in, show that card, and you get a free wash. Because they screwed something up on the bike. I don't even remember what it was. I think they the guy called me up and said, yeah, your bike is, is cleaned up. We washed it for you. It's ready to pick up. So I go in there to pick it up, and the guy says, they haven't even started to wash it yet. And they almost gave me the wrong bike. So that's why they gave me that card to say, sorry, yeah, we'll give you a free wash. So I could bring my bike in to get it washed. Or I could do some washing myself this weekend since it's not that cold. Or I could just wait until I do my uh, modification in March. I'll take the bike in and have them put the new cams in. I don't know what exactly what it's going to entail. I'll talk to the, the service guys there and, and see what they recommend. I trust them. They're good people. They talked me out of doing a, uh, a full stage four. I said, no, 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 just go piecemeal. It's a lot less of a burden on you. And maybe they're screwing me. I don't know. Maybe they get more money on the labor if they do it that way. But. I might never get a stage four. I might just go to this cam stage and that'll be it. I think I ride between 2,500 and 3,200 RPMs. Where do you guys ride? What's your, uh, what's your RPM average? Maybe 2,000 to 3,200 RPMs is what I try to stay within. I don't want to beat on the engine too bad. I mean, if I'm trying to get into traffic and stuff, I'll go up to 4,000. I try not to, though. Anything above 50 is starting to push it. I don't know. 5,000 RPMs is... That ain't good. The red line is at 55, I think. Yeah, so. I don't really ever red line the bike. There was this huge fight on Facebook today. This guy says, uh, you know, how do you fill up the air shocks in a Harley Ultra? Because you've got air shock, air adjustable shocks. So, uh, he said, should I use an air compressor? I'm like, oh, no, please don't use an air compressor. It'll completely destroy them. Because they only take, like, maximum 30 pounds of air in them. What is going on here? What are you doing there, people? Yeah, so I said I use my, I bought a, a air pump specifically built for that purpose at the uh, Harley dealer and I use that to fill up my air shocks. And so this other guy writes, or you could go down to Walmart and spend five bucks and get yourself a bike air pump, it does the same thing, you don't have to pay the Harley price to get raped. I didn't answer him. You know, it's up to it's up to him. If he wants to go and do take the cheap route, pay five bucks instead of paying thirty-nine dollars, go right ahead. I like the one I got. So I recommend it to other people. But if you want to save yourself the twenty-five, thirty dollars, go ahead. But somebody else wrote something about, you know, the bike pumps are inferior because they they're not as accurate, they don't last as long, the Harley ones are 
designed to be tough, and there's this big fight ensued. One guy called the other guy a, a, a fuck stick, nitwit, the, the, the original angry guy, I call him. He was pissed. I've been wrenching on my bike for a long time. I know what I'm talking about. You pussy, you don't know what you're talking about. The guy's like, I've been wrenching on my bike for 30 years. I have more tools than can fit in your trailer. <laughs> more tools than can, than can fit in your trailer. And the, the angry guy could not spell worth a damn. So he just came off looking like an idiot. He ended up getting uh, banned from that Facebook page. It's called Harley Electric Glide Riders. It's not the not the same group that I, I mean, I'm, I'm part of multiple groups. But the one I was talking about the other day, that I ride my Ultra Classic, that's a different group. Anyway, this guy got kicked off for that. And some other guy, nice guy, Bart his name is, he, he says, man, we're all facing the same dangers here. We're all riding Harleys for God's sakes. Peace, you know? But, you know, even within the Harley crowd, you got those who, I'm a real biker and you're not type people. I'm a real man and you're not type people. People love to categorize each other and, and then hate each other based on the categorization. So I wrote in again at the end of the thing saying, well, the one I've had cost me 39 bucks. I got it in 2007 or six. Oh my God, it's been 10 years. I got it in 2006 actually. And it hasn't broken. It's always been good. It's easy to use. It's accurate. I can see exactly on the little needle where, where the, the, the pressure is. Come to think of it, I should probably check mine. I did a video on it once. It's um, advice for new riders, I think. So anyway, sorry to those of you who who liked the sound of that group I was talking about and then found out, oh, it's only for Harley Electric Glide Riders? Darn it. Sorry about that. I used to be part of a Road King group, actually a couple. But when I sold my Road King, I had to leave the group. What else am I going to talk about? It's not my bike anymore. People don't like exclusivity. And I get that. I totally get that. Oh, let's let this grandmother in here. Go ahead. I'm gonna pay for this grandma. I'm gonna pay for this grandma. From Pennsylvania. I'm gonna come around the back side of it. Well, everybody's out on their bikes today. Well, they're not, on their, they're not out on their bikes today. It looks like they're out on their bikes, but they're not. They're sitting in a restaurant, drinking beer. Now we're gonna get the beer. Don't drink and drive. I know, I know. I'm not drinking and driving, I'm just picking up. Oh, that smells good. I wish this had smell-o-vision for you guys, because that smokehouse just smells fantastic. I'm going illegally. I'm going illegally. <laughs> well, I'm only going one way. Right? I'm an outlaw. Alright, folks. This is my Kaylee7. Hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you later.